The black community suffers from the worst health disparities. The Minister of Wellness Ministries is the only pro-black Bible-based health ministry of its kind. We teach biblical health principles that can eradicate obesity and disease. We have everything you need to feel better than you've ever felt in your life. Act now to get your biblical health ebook and DVD both for free. TheMinisterOfWellness.com, TheMinisterOfWellness.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about the Hollywood actor Forrest Whitaker. He just announced that he will be joining NBA Africa as a strategic investor. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. Basketball is definitely a bridge. Everybody has a different journey and basketball connected so many of us. So now to be able to do that in the motherland, there's something going on here that's just so much bigger than, than basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, today a new chapter in sporting history will be written as we witness the first ever final of the Basketball Africa League. Africa, we're not coming no more. Africa, we are here. This is history in the making, what we're seeing here, because the Basketball Africa League is here to stay. Well, Forrest Whitaker um, is involved here and there in Africa. He has projects already, so I know he's heavily involved in Africa um, when it comes to him investing or having a project, which is a good thing, and it, it helps that he's an African-American, and it's, it's like bridging that gap. I love, uh, I love it when we work together. Um, but I also know NBA Africa is like supposed to be an extension of the actual NBA that is found in the US so um, yeah I, I know it's gonna give a lot of opportunities to the African players and the youth and the people that will be involved in it because I'm sure they will have a lot of funding because it's entertainment at the end of the day and it's basketball um, I just I just hope nothing comes with it no you know behind the scenes kind of um, influence because I know Barack Obama was announced last year that he is going to uh, be an investor as well a strategic investor as well and um, you know since he was in politics and you know how Obama tried to push certain things in Africa that didn't make people happy um, that part makes us feel a bit uneasy just knowing that there might be something involved or like uh, are they going to try to slide something that we are Africans might not want I don't know but I don't want to focus on the negative the positive is it is going to bring a lot of opportunities to our young stars um, that are capable and that are deserving and also it's going to put um, Africa on the map when it comes to the exposure and you know when they're bringing that basketball tournament in Africa um, there are people that are coming with it that means they are going there are the locals are going to benefit when it comes to money with tourism with um, income so I mean I'm uh, for now I'll be optimistic and focus on the good things which is the youth are going to be impacted in a good way when it comes to sports it's not a, a bad thing you know uh, but if it's uh, um, bringing something behind it we're gonna make sure that we keep our eyes on on them so that they just focus on the game and entertainment and you know helping those players achieve their goals if that's the case we, we don't have any problem with it but um, I thought it was interesting that Forrest Whitaker is going to be part of NBA Africa anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about this I'm Ongil Zalal I'm bringing you this report I'll see you on the next one Bye. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app. Now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. 
And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.